guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Aisa, if you're new, and I'm glad you stumbled upon this video, obviously. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before this video starts. So today I'm coming to you guys fresh-faced with this intro. I normally don't do this, but it's for a good reason, because today we're going to be trying makeup from VDL Makeup. Um, there's actually a lot of products in here, guys. Uh, let me just show you guys the box, but yeah, like I have a lot of products So I'm just gonna test all of them out and there's also the explanations of like what How you can use the products basically so hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get right into it So guys I received I have a Lumi layer primer and I have a um, primer fresh which I think the primer fresh is if you want like more of a natural look so I think I'll be going with the Lumi layer primer today and um, I did want to show you guys my foundation it's the perfect lasting foundation and I got mine in the color V05 so yeah we'll just test it out I'm just gonna be using this as the same way I normally do my makeup you know I'm gonna do the same things I do have dark spots so I'm going to correct first but I'm gonna do that off camera since you guys have seen me do it a lot so I'll be right back so guys I forgot to show you guys the primer it basically looks like this so I'm just gonna go ahead and prime my face before I correct yeah it comes in like this I don't know if this is supposed to be an applicator but yeah I'm just going to like put a little bit oh a lot of it comes out too guys so <laughs> be gentle it smells really good though like really really good okay so now that my face is primed now i'm going to go ahead and correct them dark spots off camera and i'll be using the abh cream contour palette as usual Okay, so as I mentioned, I'm going to be using the Perfect Lasting Foundation. It says that it's a lightweight liquid foundation with natural matte finish and buildable medium to full coverage. So it says shake well before use and dispense one to two drops to apply over the face with a foundation brush or fingertips. So I'm just going to apply it like I normally do. So I'm going to be using the brush first and then the sponge as I normally do because I feel like that's easier and yeah it has the little dispenser thing which I love it looks like it's a, a bit light for me I'm not gonna lie but you know we're just gonna roll with it and keep going So yeah, this is the final application, guys. Um, it does look a little light on me. I'm not even gonna lie, but we'll make it work. So far, I like the coverage, I like the feel on my skin. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and contour and highlight. I'll be using, once again, my trusted Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Kit, and I'll be using the colors Nude and Chocolate. Okay guys, so now that I contoured and highlighted, it kind of gave my face back a bit of color because I was looking a little white. So, the next thing there is in this box are eyeshadow colors. 
because I finished setting and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows before, but I just wanted to show you guys. So I have, I got three eyeshadow like single singlets or whatever. So I got in the color 103 Toe Shoes, 303 Signature, and 902 Shark Skin. So we're gonna try using these three colors. But first, let me go do my eyebrows. Okay, so now that I am done with my brows and everything else, I'm gonna move on to my eyes. So I think the first color I'm gonna be using shark skin on the outside. Let me show you guys the colors like close up. Okay, so guys, this is the first color. I don't know if you can see that, but this is the first color and that is the color toe shoes. Then, and it comes with these little things and like I really like them because they're very travel friendly. Then the next color I received is Signature, which is like this. And the last color that I received is I believe Shark Skin. And it's like this. And guys, when I opened this thing, I did not know it was shimmery. I'm gonna use that on my lid. I'm gonna go in with my in my Kylie Cosmetics palette. And the first color I'm going to be using is that brownish color, which is beach. This one. I'm just going to put that all over my lid. So far, I do really like the consistency of the foundation. Like, at first I wasn't really too sure because um, on application, yeah, it was a little too white. I didn't know if I could make it work. But so far, I like it. So far, so good. Next, I'm going to go ahead with that purple shade, which is Signature, and just start putting that in my crease, just above the brown. And I'm gonna change brushes for that. Oh yeah, and I like that there's a mini, mini mirror in it, guys. Like, I don't know, maybe that's just me, but... This color is pigmented. Okay, I wasn't ready for all the dark. So first I was patting it in, now I'm just swishing it, trying to see like what works best. Pigment isn't too bad guys, I actually, I'm actually impressed. So just so my color pops a little more, I'm going to go ahead and set but use concealer to cut my crease. So for now I'm going to wait for it to dry and while that dries, I'm going to go ahead and kind of fix that purple color. I'm going to add it a little more because it kind of got lost. lost. So first I'm going to go ahead and kind of just dip it in and see how well it applies without me spraying it. And then after that we'll decide if I need to spray it with setting spray. Definitely a very buildable shade because I feel like it's not popping as much as I thought it would. So um, what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to spray it. They sent a radiance mix. Um, I'm gonna be using it because why not? I'm doing a full face of VDL makeup, so I'm gonna use it. Just a little bit, not that much. Mm, it smells really, really good. I feel like it's a bit more vibrant, which is a good thing. Okay, so I did say I was going to try and incorporate all the colors. Um, I'm thinking with that other shade, I'm just going to put that in my inner eye. But right now, first, what I'm going to do is um, just kind of fix the edges. I see that some of the shimmer is like actually moving, so be careful when you uh, blend it in. Because I see that some of the shimmer has been going up because I've been trying to blend the edges. Now I'm going to take a bit of that Toshu color 
and see how it applies in the inner tear duct. Okay, so I'm really not liking, this is not a really good color for me, to be honest. I'm not liking the color payoff on my skin tone, but it can definitely be good for anybody else. Okay guys, so I did go ahead and apply my mascara. It's the Maybelline S Sensational Lash or Sensational Mascara, something like that. And I did apply some lashes. So now I'm, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and um, I did receive a creamy stick jelly in the color Alice or 301. And this I believe is kind of like a cream blush. So I'm gonna try it out. Like I've never tried cream blush before just because I prefer my blush being powdery and because I'm kind of heavy handed so it's just always easier, you know? Um, but yeah, we're gonna try this first time for everything. This is basically what it looks like. It's like a roll up. I really like that because it just makes it easier, you know, and you don't use as much product. I'm gonna go first with my finger. I'm gonna apply, oh, it's really creamy. Oh, I like that. So I'm gonna apply a little bit with my finger, on my finger, like this, and just tap it in. And then I'll blend it in with a brush. It's really like dewy. I feel like it's like, it has like an oily finish. Cause when I'm applying it, it like melts in. Like when I rub it, it melts in my fingers. So um, then after that, I normally go in and apply some highlighter. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. For that, I'm gonna be using the same highlighter I always use. I swear guys, this is like my trusted highlight palette, the Carly Bible palette. So I did receive some lip products too to try and I have the Deep Matte, Expert Deep Matte Liquid Liner here and I also have the Expert Color Lip Cute Fluid Velvet. The liquid liner is for the eyes obviously and it's in black. The applicator is pretty thin so that's good. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a little bit. So I'm just gonna apply some on top of my lashes. Okay, so the next color thing I'm gonna be using is, like I said, the Expert Color Liquid Cube Fluid Velvet for my lips. And this is in the color Velvet 103, Make Me Rosy. It looks like it's a red, so I'm probably going to line my lips. But I kinda wanna see how it looks first without my lips aligned. It feels like kind of like a gloss consistency, but it's a lipstick, so it's kind of weird. So far, I'm liking the feel of it. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and line my lips just because I feel like I like it better with my lips lined. So let me go do that and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so yeah, I definitely had to line my lips because it wasn't looking like too nice on like I didn't like it at all. But this is definitely something you have to build up, okay? Like you have to put multiple layers for it to come out nice or like to come out the way you want it. Now that I'm done using all of that, I'm gonna go back with the setting spray and just spray my entire face. Ooh, so this mist is definitely cooling. It smells so good too. You don't feel it on your face, which is different, but I like it. I definitely like it. So the, the last product that I won't be using in this video that was in this was a cleansing oil cream and I've always wanted to try one of these so I'm really really excited to try this. I'm gonna try it tonight to remove all this makeup. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Overall, I would say that I really actually love the products. I think my favorite product would have to, would have to be their foundation and then after their foundation, definitely the um, eyeshadows because I really really like those and then lastly the primer because I like how it made my face look like glowy this is the, my first time using these products and 
Honestly, guys, I really love how I love the feel on my face. And I really love the consistency of most of these products. And they're not, they don't feel too heavy. You know, you don't feel like you have a ton of makeup on your face. So I really, really like that. And I feel like it's making, it's giving me more of a skin, like dewy type of look, which I don't mind. And yeah, I really, really love these products. I can't wait to use that oil cream to remove this foundation. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, don't forget obviously to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we really appreciate all the support we've gotten on um, these past few months. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye. What else? Yeah.